guys, it's Pope. I am sorry that I have not had a vlog recently. I had those back-to-back -back competitions and I honestly was just so exhausted when I got back home finally. I just needed a little break and then my grandfather ended up in the hospital and actually passed last week so I was trying to just spend some time with my family. I was taking care of my sister and just kind of process everything that was going on with me personally. So I've stayed off of the YouTube for a little while but I'm back now. I have a lot going on right now with my training. I am looking forward to two big competitions coming up. I'm competing next in the USA Weightlifting Nationals, which is the second weekend in May. So I'm about five weeks out from competition right now. Four weeks later, I will be competing in the United Kingdom. Very, very excited to be going to Europe for competition. I made the squad I was hoping I was going to make to go compete in the British Open, which is an international meet that is in conjunction with British Nationals. USA Weightlifting was allowed to send up to two per weight class and I got the second spot and I'm so excited. So I'll be competing in the 64s there in the UK. It is in Coventry, which is a bit outside of London, and that's going to be the weekend of June 8th. I'm going to try to plan some kind of meetup if anything just after the meet but I'm gonna try to plan a meetup because I know I have a lot of people that follow me and have been a part of my journey that are from the UK and I'm looking forward to meeting you guys this next like six weeks of weightlifting is really important for basically everyone in USA weightlifting so everybody's training hard right now and hopefully having fun getting ready to give it their all for this last push for the end of the quad so that's kind of my life update. This morning I posted on my Instagram story trying to get a feeler from you guys what you want to see on my vlogs. And it was kind of interesting because yeah, there was questions about nutrition, questions about, you know, like weightlifting technique. But uh, I was surprised to see how many questions there were like more personally about me and about my relationships. And that's something that I don't usually do, but I'm going to try to open up a bit more today and talk about those things. There were two questions I got on this response forum that kind of struck me and inspired me to make this video. One of which said, what makes you the most happy? And they reiterated true happiness, like what makes me genuinely tick and make, make me want to keep going in life. And I really liked that question. And the other question was how to be a supportive partner to someone in a situation like mine or really into what they're doing in life. I think that could apply to any any relationship where you have someone that's like all in on their career. Over the last, I'd say six or eight months, I've seen like a big transformation in myself, like who I am as a person. And I have pushed myself out of my comfort zone to do some things that I've never done before to kind of do some self exploration. I've been in therapy regularly. I've been taking yoga classes. I've been meditating. I've been trying to like gravitate more towards like my true self and figure some things out. And so now I feel like I'm in a better place to kind of talk about stuff like that because I think I know myself better now than I ever have before. Also, as I'm approaching my 30th birthday, when I think about things that I've like accomplished, my relationship is one of the things I'm most proud of and one of the things I've done the most right, I guess, for who I am and my true self. And like I said, I've done a lot of work in that area lately. And so now I'm like more confident than ever knowing that I've been on the right path in that part of my life. To give some background and like explanation of why you don't see a lot about my relationships on social media or a lot about my husband. And a lot of that comes from the fact that I chose to start putting myself out there on the internet and my family did not choose that. My husband did not choose that. They didn't sign up for that. <laughs> I've been married for a long time and that came before all of this. That came before weightlifting. I've changed so much as a person since I started the relationship that I'm in. It has been kind of hard to find like a good balance of what I should share and what I shouldn't share because none of this online presence happened purposefully. 
I just started sharing my journey on Instagram, a little posts here and there, and it grew very organically. It was nothing I ever decided I wanted to do. I didn't try to be a social media influencer or I didn't try to become this person with a big online presence. It just happened. So that being said, my partner didn't actively go out and try to become like an online couple that people follow all the time either. So in addition to that, there is so much negativity on the internet and I've had my own struggles with learning how to handle that. But I get a lot of hate on YouTube, on Instagram. I get a lot of hate on every platform I'm on. And it took me a long time to be able to not let that affect me. Rewind like three years ago and that wasn't the case. I would take a lot of things personally and it took me a long time to be able to handle that stuff. But at this point in my life, I'm just very confident in who I am and what I'm doing with my work, what I'm doing with my sports career, what I'm doing with my business, and what I'm doing with my relationships. And I guess I don't really feel that way anymore. And as long as he's comfortable with me talking about it, then I'm going to try and be more comfortable talking about it. My husband has always been kind of my opposing force to everything online. He is like my escape to all of this. It's the one part of my life that is not put on the internet and it is not put under a microscope. So I've kind of really enjoyed having that part of my life be completely private. And I think that a lot of things are sacred in that sense, in that it's between me and him only. And I know that's given us a really good chance to like grow together and get through problems together because if you've been following me for a long time you know that I don't just put the good stuff out there so how would I feel okay only putting the good things out there and not the negative things I'm a human being and my relationship has struggles just like everyone else's and I don't really want to put that under a microscope one of the questions was how did we meet so we met in 2006 I was 17 and I had snuck out of my house to go to a house party and it was a costume party <laughs> and I was dressed as a slutty nurse <laughs> and we were actually meeting up with one of my friends, guy friends and Josh ended up being the friend of that friend so we met up in his driveway and I get out of the car in this ridiculous costume it was kind of an instant connection we had one very very short conversation and uh, I ended up not even going to the party I ended up going home so we saw each other for literally maybe five minutes and then he hit me up on my space and that was all she wrote the universe just put us in the right place at the right time for literally only five minutes and he says that he knew the moment he met me that I was the one and uh, it was it was a lot of up and down for quite a while it wasn't like it was just smooth sailing from there we fell in love and that was the end that was absolutely not how it went Josh and I were on and off again kind of throughout college like I spent one year where I lived on my own we weren't together after college we bought a house together then we got married in 2011. So I've been married for almost eight years. That seems so crazy. In 2013, I believe it was, we were separated, legally separated. And I moved to North Carolina for a year. We spent a year apart. We were separated because we thought we wanted to totally different lives at that point. Because we did get married so young. We had been together since we were so young. At that point in my life, I thought that I wanted this lifestyle of weightlifting and I wanted to go see the world. I, well, we both felt like those opposing lifestyles with him working full time and just being a homebody and being totally different introvert compared to what I wanted out of life, felt that it wasn't going to mesh together anymore. And actually when I lived in North Carolina, when I was training at MASH, that was the first team I was with, Travis uh, was such a good like advisor to me and he actually is one of the ones that convinced me to go back home and try to make my marriage work then we figured it out i will always be grateful to him for that i've worked through a lot of things myself and josh and i have worked through a lot of things together and at some points in our life it's been very unconventional but that's kind of just the way it's been and it's worked out great now we have this really awesome relationship that's very 
honest and raw and we know we can like get through anything together so him being supportive of my weightlifting now is something I really like never take for granted because at one point it didn't look like it was going to be that way but we figured it out how to both accomplish the things that we want out of life and do it together so it's like a lot of the times people don't understand like why I've done the things that I've done because there's so much going on behind the scenes of like the people you follow or the people you admire you don't know what's going on 100% in their life you only know what's going on with what they put on the internet for you to see and that's why some of this has been so difficult for me but he's been on my side through every step of all of this and really has been my my rock through all the ups and downs of my career and I'm so appreciative to have such a supportive partner and that's why I loved that question about like how to be a supportive par partner especially if you don't live the same kind of life. Josh is not a competitive athlete where a lot of my peers in weightlifting are married to other weightlifters or married to bodybuilders or things like that but we have two totally different lives and I kind of like it that way. We definitely have like our own things but they also mesh together a lot too. He edits my videos, he comes to my competitions, he's very involved in my weightlifting but it's also still like my thing and he has his job, has his career that he's working on. I think the part that makes him so supportive is that he just, he understands that I'm all in in this dream that I have, which is not to make it to the Olympics. That was never the dream. The dream was to finish out an athletic career and feel like I finished it. Because in gymnastics, I ended up going out to injury and I didn't get to finish it out. So I just want to pursue weightlifting in a way that when I'm done, I know that I gave it everything I possibly could and I was the best athlete I could have been, the best weightlifter to my full potential. Like that's the dream for me. And also gets that I can't do it forever and knows that's just like kind of a phase of my life, not my whole life. He also films all of my competitions for me and helps me with my vlog when we're traveling. Him having interest in the process and uh, having an appreciation for photography and creating memories is part of it too because vlogging is basically like a diary of what you're doing. So when we're traveling, he kind of gets it that I want to have these memories and I'm going to be sharing them with you guys but part of it's just for me too and to be like really dialing into my feelings about things so being supportive I guess comes with just being understanding of like the why you're doing something I think maybe I should get him on camera like after a competition and have him talk about what it's like because his side of things is probably a bit different like during my weight cuts that's, I can be a total bitch <laughs> when I'm hungry or when I'm thirsty. So his side of this might sound a little different. What are you doing, Truffle? So yeah, that's what I've got for about Josh and I, how he is supportive to my career, and I hope that is kind of helpful for you guys uh, that are navigating through a relationship with anyone kind of in my situation. And for those of you that were just curious about my marriage and how we met. I thought that making this video outside was gonna like look great, but I'm inhaling so much pollen right now. I'm about to head out to the gym now and get warmed up. Today I have a lot of block work, block snatches, block power cleans, and then I have front squat volume. I've been doing the same workouts for the last three weeks, just adding weight each week. I have yet to make it through the full workout. <laughs> She's lowered my weights every week and I still haven't been able to finish it yet. <laughs> But hopefully today is the day. We're gonna make it through these fives and threes on Fred Squad.
Monday and Monday workouts are so freaking long so many things block power cleans are like my worst nightmare <laughs> I struggle with them every week but it's really helping me finish at the top straight up not back I want to go back so bad I want to scoop my feet back so annoying but you can't make those and do those bad technique patterns that I have so it's making me use good form so I know they're good for me they're just so hard and I have to do like light weights that make me feel not good about myself but it's just a drill it's just to make my full clean better so I'm gonna keep working at it and I finally finished my front squats she had to reduce my weights a little bit but I finally made it through the fives and the threes today hard workout but it's good for me this is my last week of this like first block of volume and I think I'm gonna deload next week maybe and then move into singles hopefully because we'll only be like four weeks out after that or at least doubles <laughs> i'm tired of doing triples and i'm definitely tired of doing fives on squats that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys uh liked the video being a bit different than my norm if you did please give this video a thumbs up leave me comments let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel if you are new here i'm going to be trying to upload every saturday up until the competition so I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye.